I have removed the bottle and I have the bucket of solution with the part soaking. I'm going to remove these and put them into our dish water. Using a brush and a cloth, we're going to wash the parts. The parts have been washed, rinsed, and I've patted them dry with a dry cloth. I get the food safe grease. We're going to take a little of the grease, it doesn't take much. And as we assemble each part, we're going to rub the rubber grommets and O-rings to keep those lubed. We're going to start with this. It goes to the tap. Rub a little lube on this. Slide it over. Rub a little lube on the grommet. Put it on. Take this and insert it with the notch up like that. And this, this part here goes in the notch. Push this down. Then the uh, this part goes on. Just screws on. I'm sorry. This part goes on. And then this goes on. Put the handle on. This o ring goes in the back side right here. Just put it in and push it down. This curved rubber grommet goes on the threaded end like so we put the nut on sure it works properly. You see it working? Alright. Now to assemble the coupler. I'm going to start with the shaft. Get some lube. It's easier if you start at the front. Just roll those O rings into the grooves. You don't have to take these out every time. The O rings don't need to be in the cleaning solution, but you can wash. This is even easy enough to wash by hand. All right, the other should slip right over that one. All right, one more.
All right, I've got the O-rings on. Uh, this, these O-rings don't have to come off every time since it's been a while since I cleaned it. I decided to take them off and give it a good cleaning underneath. Um, but you can hand wash this and uh, run your brush through the center. We got that. This goes in here. Taking note of this notch. Push it on in. Tighten this up. It doesn't have to be real tight. It just needs to hold the handle on. Check our action. Make sure it's working. Looks good. Put a little grease on the grommet that contacts the keg. We get a good coat on that. It can be uh, a little thicker. All right, my video ran out, um, but pretty much uh, I just got it back together. And uh, I'll put this orange grommet back on. Now we're going to go put these back on the kegerator. Okay, I have the coupler here. I'm going to take this silver grommet, or gray grommet, that goes for the CO2. Make sure that's clean. I'll put it in, screw our nut on. Now previously I didn't show the part where I uh, loosened the nut, but uh, I usually tighten these down with a crescent wrench just to make sure it doesn't leak. I have had, have had it leak before. You can only turn it so far and it stops, but um, you need a wrench to seat it all the way. All right, now we're gonna put this grommet back in the end of our beer line. And screw it to the top. Make sure this is in the off position all the way up to turn it on you latch it down in that notch and it pushes protrudes this which sticks into the keg and allows the gas to pressurize into the keg and the beer to come out and come through the, the line so we're going to make sure it's in the off position our beer line is tight Just lay this down in the bottom until we get our keg. Now we have to put install the tap. 